Hello everybody, today we're doing something super pride, super gay, super queer. We're doing my hair. <laughs> You may ask, Hannah, how is that very Pride LGBT of you? Well, y'all, last year I thought I was bisexual during Pride and my hair was the bisexual colors. As y'all can see, my roots are growing out like crazy. My ombre has faded a ton. I'm going to attempt to do the lesbian colors in my hair. First things first bleach. I had an amazing idea. So I'm a little worried about putting bleach on top of bleach, right, of course. Extra breakage, we don't want that. So, I'm going to cover with a mask, then go in and bleach my roots. Alrighty, now that my bleached hair is protected, it's time to make the bleach mix. Which, as usual, is the two to one ratio, and then four of the developer. And I'm gonna be using 18 volume, so it's a little more gentle. Mix, mix, mix. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this is the worst part. Now I gotta separate my hair and try to only get it on the roots. It's so difficult. I'm like, is there any way to make this easier? I don't think so. Well, I think it's covered. <laughs> so while my hair is sitting, I'm going to go ahead and use the rest of the bleach mixture, but mixed with some Olaplex number four. So this will become basically like a bleach wash, which hopefully will get out some of the color in my hair since it's a little dark for what I'm going for. So I think it's time. Honestly, it's not bad. You know what? The top looks a little dark still, but I'm covering it with orange anyway. You know, it's fine. Our bleach wash is looking perfect. We want it a little goopy, right? And I'm just gonna add it right in there. And then move pretty quickly and wash it out. All right, I'm gonna leave this in for a hot sec. And then I'm going to only shampoo. We're only shampooing. And then we'll be ready for the color. Ah, oh, she's half blonde. But now it's time to mix up the color and get this lesbian flag going. I think I'm just going to end up doing an orange and a pink because my hair does not have any white that could go in between, right? So I think I'm just gonna do an ombre. Y'all are just gonna see like, I am just gonna be mixing everything I have. <laughs> okay, we're using a Manic Panic Tiger Lily, Manic Panic, Infrared, and then I have Kenra color in yellow. I'm gonna add a little bit of my hair mask into it. Okay, well, you know what just happened? Turns out I just added a, too much red. So, I can't use this. <laughs> then, I only had one other orange, so I put a little red in it, and I even, I think this is too dark too, now. But I do have one more orange. I do have one more orange, but I'm gonna have to use it sparingly. And now for the pinks, I bought bright instant color in pink. So I got two of these. And then I found I still have X Girl from Good Die Young, which is gonna darken it up a little bit because it's already kind of dark down there. So let's do some orange to pink, shall we? And y'all, if you really want to do an ombre, you got to get a brush with wide bristles, right? And you're just going to comb it through. And that's really just going to blend it out there for you. First question, and I think this is hilarious. How do you know if someone is fruity? Um, well, sometimes it's a little inappropriate to ask. Uh, I can also say it is hard to tell if someone is actually being flirty with you or not. My rule of thumb is I assume everyone's flirting with me. So, <laughs> you know what, you, there's ways to be sneaky. There's ways to like throw it in conversation. But if you're not comfortable with chatting it up, I say establish a friendship and then you can ask from there. Or you can stalk them online, that helps too. But usually I overshare and then people feel like they wanna share with me. And that's just how that happens sometimes. So you could just start by sharing yourself first. Someone asks, are you dressed up when you go to Pride? So last year, uh, when I thought I was bisexual first, 
Um, I did have my bisexual hair color going on, but other than that, I was really feeling strongly to wear um, a shirt that says protect trans kids because that was on my mind. Not only was that super relevant in media at the time, still relevant today, but that's what I opted for. I opted for awareness. Um, but a lot of people end up wearing more like rave attire. It's very much like, let me show off my style, which is really fun. People do whatever they want, but usually people wear like your colors, like you're trying to you're like represent, or it's like bringing awareness to something. Um, yeah, it's pretty fun. Y'all should go. If you haven't been, you should go. Bring your parents, teach them things. <laughs> I got a question that says, you gay now? And that's exactly how I'm reading it. I'm assuming that's exactly how they meant it. Um, now, what? right now? Yes. Before? Yes. My whole life, I have been gay. Did I know it the whole time? No. I thought my experience was like everyone else's. I was like, yeah, this is what being straight feels like. It turns out I was very wrong, very wrong. This next question asks for advice on coming out as bi to conservative parents. There are cases where you might have parents who have very strict points of views that do not align with yours, even if your point of view is yourself, <laughs> right? And in some cases, conservative parents have surprised their kids with exactly, you know, doing what they should as parents, which is to love and accept your child no matter what, right? So my advice here, because you don't know if it can go one way or the other um, very well or, or not very well. Uh, lay out some groundwork maybe, you know, F test out the waters, ask, uh, ask your parents or ask your mom like, hey, have you ever felt this way towards whatever? Figure out some point of views. If you're just really like, I honestly have no idea. I really have, it could go either way. You can always test the water, ask like, what do you think of this? insert famous person who's queer, right? Lay the groundwork, all in conversation. If anyone has amazing advice for this as well, please leave it in the comments down below. Help each other out, y'all. That's what this community is for, right? Show us your girlfriend. You're like, have to bend down. This is my beautiful girlfriend. Hi. What was it like coming out? Well, I came out to my mom as bisexual first when I thought that was the case in an email which is funny because it, it honestly very situational she just sent me tickets to this thing that was very queer and she was like here you go I know you like this stuff because you're an ally and then I was like I'm not just an ally lol and since then I've just I'm my mom follows me online my mom knows what I'm doing and she's very accepting mom my dad couldn't care less <laughs> so chilling so I'm gonna let this sit for maybe like 10 more minutes. Y'all, this has been in my hair for a while. I'll show y'all what it looks like when we're done. Ready in three, two. And here we have it, the beautiful orange to pink hair. It's so pride, it's so sunset, it's beautiful. Honestly, beautiful. I feel great. Y'all, let me know if you like it. Let me know if I should have gone like a little more peachy. I don't know. But right now, this is the vibe and it totally works for pride. Now, speaking of pride, there is a last question that I did want to answer. Favorite difference between before really realizing you were queer and after. Let me give you first, I'm gonna say my least favorite difference because after realizing, oh my gosh, this is truly, like I'm finally experiencing what all of my straight friends felt in relationships, but I never felt like that, you know? So my least favorite thing is the fact that like, I, I feel like there's not enough media out there that even made me feel like maybe I should think about this more. But my favorite thing, my favorite difference is I think it's it's like being able to feel such like free love. I don't know. I I feel like I'm just finally feeling the feelings and and, and feeling so comfortable with knowing that there is finally a, you know even like a word that describes how I felt for so long, even though I thought every woman felt the same way. I was wrong. <laughs> 
but no, it's just very validating. My favorite thing is how validating, you know, being a lesbian is. So that is that. But thank you all so much for watching. I got to go run to Pride and hold up a beautiful flag. So I will see y'all next time. But thank you everyone who sent in questions. Uh, y'all mean so much to me.